everyone. Today is Purple Day. It's Epilepsy Awareness Day. Um, I wear my purple every day. It's a little hard to say because it's so, this is 20 some years old. Um, 11 years ago, I found out I had epilepsy. I was diagnosed 2009 of December with complex partial seizures. Um, my seizures sometimes on a good day was two, uh, two episodes, uh, two episodes, and they some, most of the time one will last thirty minutes, one will last just a few seconds. But the ones who would last over five minutes was actually more of the dangerous type uh, epilepsy you would have because it put more damage to the brain. And I have seen significant damage because of the seizures. I have trouble remembering stuff. Um, my wording gets is worse. I have I already have dyslexia and since the seizures it's just gotten worse. Um so oh, I was down in a hospital for seven days they were testing me with an EKG. Um, <laughs> they, it didn't record, but they physically witnessed the seizure. And come to find out, complex partial seizures also falls under LGS. It's a rare type of seizure in females. It's not common to hear of, um, but I had symptoms of LGS where when I was real little, I would blank off. I would just do this. And my teachers spot us, but I was wanting attention and stuff. So they're like, oh, she's just attention giver, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. To the point where I was passing out and not physically moving. Basically, I was just a lump. Of, I was just dead weight to them. And they're like, oh, she don't eat enough. Yeah. Back when I was little, I weighed, I was lucky if I even weighed 50 pounds by the time I was, by the time I got to high school, I was close to 70 pounds, if that. Not even then, I was still in the 60, I was still weighing 60 some pounds back in high school, so they're like, oh, it's because you don't eat a lot. Well, I mean, my family can tell you I could pack food away, and, cause I can eat a 10 pound turkey by myself, so. And I, <laughs> so I'm a little bit of a fatty, but not too much of a fatty. But, um, then, two and a half months later, seizures got to the point where I lost control of walking. I could not physically walk without having assistance. I, um, I had to have a cane just to walk across my room, to walk to my bathroom. This was right. As soon as I stepped out of my room, I was all I had to do was turn a corner and I was in the bathroom. Um, so I had to walk with it for two and a half years with a cane. Uh, they had me on three different types of medications. Uh, all three did not work. The one would work. The first medication they had me on, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it only worked for the two and a half months. Because they started intensifying and then I... Like I said, I lost the ability to actually physically walk. Uh, then they switched me off of it, put me on another medicine, to a point after that, they started getting stronger to where I was having them to uh, five times a day to an hour long episodes. And I still remember one that was the freakiest one I ever had. Um, I started batting like a goat. Come to find out that was what was called a vocal seizure. Vocal seizures means what happens is vocal cords were being interrupted by the seizure. So when I tried to say hello, I started going bat, bat, bat for help. And... 
when I heard the bat come out, I started picking out and I and I could hear it in my head and I was saying I could basically hear myself saying, Oh I looked up my the guy was dating at the time. I looked at him and I said, help. to me I was saying help but all he heard was eh, meh, meh for help. That's all he heard. And that's all it was coming out for five whole minutes of me screaming, crying for help. It was all he heard was a goat bat batting. And it, it it was a scary moment. It was really scary. And I really don't talk about my seizures a lot. I really don't because I don't want people to, to oh, oh, you need to be careful. You need to, don't need to be doing this. You don't need to be doing that. You don't need to wear yourself out. I don't want to be petted. I don't want to be, oh, you need to be cautious now. That's not me. My family found that out when I was having seizures. I was going to be stubborn and I was going to do whatever I could and whatever I wanted. Because I didn't want, want it to take over my life. I fought for my life. I fought every time. But every time I would have a seizure, I think I was like, oh, this is this is." going to be the one that kills me? Is it going to be the last one I have? Is it going to be my last breath with the seizure? Because I would stop breathing sometimes with these seizures to where I, my, it scared my family. I had two grandma seizures and rest were just mild seizures I was having. Um, and then three and a half years, four years ago, they started me on a gluten-free diet, thinking I had it was caused coming from a gluten allergy, which is not an actual allergy. It's a autoimmune disease where we attack their system. Come to find out that wasn't even it. Um, so. I stopped it wouldn't be diet, still seizure free. But what helped was our herbal medicine. I stopped all my medications because they weren't helping. They were causing more of the seizures than helping actually. So I started on back doing my herbal uh, herbal medicines and now three and a half years down the road, I'm still here, and I'm seizure-free. Getting ready to hit four years now for being seizure-free, which I'm very proud of and very tickled because I, because it was so hard back then. And I'm sorry if I look like I'm high right now. I'm not. I'm seriously am not. I... Went to bed too early last night, so I kind of woke. I woke up around three o'clock this morning, so I'm physically tired right now. I mean, dead face tired. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm really tired right now. As for tomorrow, my eyes are so puffy. <laughs> I fell asleep too early. <laughs> I was up around eight o'clock last night. I missed walking dead. So, so, yes, I feel bad that I actually did. No, actually, I woke up around 2.45, yeah, because it was right before 3 o'clock before I could watch it on the moon. But, yeah, um, so for today, if you have any family members, friends, cosplayers, you know, who have a history of epilepsy, wear purple, put a purple mark on your hand or write out, Epilepsy awareness day in purple. Uh, purple makeup, purple in your hair, anything purple to represent the awareness and bring the awareness to light. Because one thing is, if we do not legalize marijuana in all states or even a medical level, more children who had seizures more and worse than I did, 
and there is a 90% chance they will come back and they can't and my doctor has already told me he said you thought they were bad now he said let me he said if they come back he said they'll be a lot worse than they were before in which they could kill me if they do come back and that was already clarified so I mean that was five years ago so I'm still I'm scared all the time so if I do certain things I go to parks or see fireworks, I'm going to have a seizure. And, but if we can legalize CBC or medical grade type marijuana in all states, it will benefit people. Not just with epilepsy, with PTSD, depression, anxiety, pain. Because we, I mean, look how many deaths we've had because of opium. Too many. Too many to count. If we legalize it, there'll be less people dying. The reason why they don't want to legalize it is because the pharmaceuticals will lose out on that money. Including procedure medications. And I can tell you right now, herbal medicine works a lot better. I know. I've been on three different types of seizure medicines. Take it and minimize them. They intensify them. And it's pretty funny. I go off them and I start med uh, herbal medicine. And I'm seizure free now. Alright, so have a great week. And hopefully, and later this week, I'm hoping to have a costume done. Bye.